You know, for this video, I was actually considering playing the Havoc game mode because I played it a little bit and it's actually kind of fun. But um, yeah, I want to I want to use the uh, fully automatic shotgun and I don't trust myself to get kills with that on anything other than shipments. So but really quick before I get started, if you want to help support the channel, liking this video and subscribing to the channel would be very much appreciated. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'm just going to jump into shipment here so I can spam the shotgun. I'm going to do something a little bit different for this video, depending on, you know, what kind of match I get into. Uh, I'm going to try and leave this video mostly unedited because I, uh, contrary to what I normally do, uh, I usually record my videos the night before and then I upload them and then they go up the day after. But uh, today, I'm actually recording the video the day it's going up. So currently it's what? 7:30 in the morning and uh hopefully this video is able to be uploaded by 12 but and we'll see but uh yeah uh, with all the eo stuff going on last night uh, when i was considering making my video i was like maybe i should play street fighter again and then i remembered i know like a one combo with the character that i play and it's a bad combo so yeah i figured i would uh not publicly embarrass myself although i guess i'm not it's not like i haven't done that before so i don't know why i'm so concerned about it but That's so mean. But uh, yeah, speaking of Evo, um, uh, yesterday a new uh, Fatal Fury game got announced, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically a series under the umbrella of the... Oh! It's under the same studio that makes the King of Fighters games. Which uh, I'm not sure what the like difference between those games are, because they usually share a bunch of the same characters as well. So I think there's KOF, Fatal Fury, and um, Mark of the Wolves, but I'm not sure which one is the actual original series that all these characters come from. This gun is hilarious. I love it. <laughs> oh, I had to finish reloading. No. But uh, yeah, that got announced yesterday, and uh, it shares a similar art style to KOF 15, which not a lot of people are the biggest fans of. But if you compare it, like, because it's like I said, it shares some of the same characters. If you look at the characters side by side, the game actually looks way different than people are giving it credit for. So I was always on the verge of wanting to get into KOF 15, but at this point, I'm not sure what the play for that would be. I mean, the game's not that old. I don't think there would be any problem with buying it. It's, I think it's still getting updates and characters and whatnot. How did I kill that guy? Speaking of the King of Fighters games, um, King of Fighters 13 is a game that they made a very long time ago. Uh, relatively, how did that kill me? And uh, that game is very known for being like the last, you know, true uh, pixel sprite based uh, fighting game because, you know, obviously, like after a certain point, a lot of game developers moved from, you know, hand animated 2D sprites to uh, 3D models. But uh, SNK, which is the studio that makes KOF, was very well known for their amazing. Uh, 2D sprite animations with, you know, things like KOF and Metal Slug, especially. If you're a fan of Metal Slug, you probably are familiar with how amazing the animations for those games are. Wow, that's very unlucky. But yeah, KOF 13 is a game that they made, and it was it's probably one of the most beautiful 2D animated fighting games, like, ever made. I think maybe uh, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike has, like gives it a run for its money, but even then, it's like... I think uh, KOF 13 has that game beat just because of the amount of detail that that game has, in addition to its like fluid animations. Oh no, I have no ammo. Oh, well that fixes my problem. But uh, apparently there's a going to be a new version of KOF 13 that has like rollback because uh, one unfortunate thing about KOF 13 is that uh, it was made in that era where uh, fighting games from Japan did not have good online. So uh, despite the fact that the game nearly made them go bankrupt um, because of all the effort it took to animate a single character, it was also sadly plagued by not stellar online because, you know, again, it was made in the era before that was a priority for a bunch of developers. Why is this gun unironically good? 
again in shipment. But hey, there's gonna be a new version of KOF 13 and uh, it's gonna have rollback Neko. And I saw that and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. I would actually love to get into this game. But uh, then I read the announcement like image more closely and it appears that it's only going to be on PlayStation and the Switch, which uh, I, was, I was made ever slightly more sad that day than I already normally am. Oh, oh no. So uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is coming out on Steam. And if it is, I'll totally buy it again. Fuck it, I don't care. Oh, he has lost stand. What a beta. Oh, he's still there. That's hilarious. No, leave me alone. Damn it. Speaking of Call of Duty, I, uh, I mentioned this in the last video that I made or the video before that. I don't remember, but I'm going to put this in the thumbnail and I want it to be like the focus of the video. You know, maybe uh, people will see this and it'll get slightly more attention than not at all. But I mentioned a while ago in one of Jez's videos, he's playing Cold War. And uh, yeah, with all the playlists there, because the game is old, there's a 12v12 playlist. And like, I really want to stress how much I think a higher player count would actually help some of these other maps and would like encourage people to play things that aren't shipment oh because once again the even the other small maps you know basically anything that's not shipment still feel too big oh i threw a grenade I killed him with a grenade! But yeah, I think I really think a lot of the issues of the other maps and the feeling of the game being slow. I mean, obviously, it has a lot to do with just the movement and how they went about making the game feel to play. But I feel like a large part of that would be remedied by like there being more engagements constantly. And I feel like the best way to fix that would be to increase the player count because, like I said, in the other video that they did have a playlist where they changed the player count from 66 to 88 and that helped a little bit you know it was super cool but uh well, I got triple kill yeah you can still feel on some of the other on some of the maps that you know, like the player count still isn't high enough and I'm like I don't know what their vision for this game is whether like I guess they wanted it to be super slow or whatever but I mean it's obvious that uh the player base does not want that oh I got the final kill um, well, I somehow went positive. That's a miracle. But yeah, I'll, I'll just finish my thought here really quick. I guess they want the game to be super slow. At least with Modern Warfare 2019, that was definitely the, uh, you could see that was the design intention with that game. Much to the dismay of many people. But even in that game, the movement was not as hindered as it is in this game, which is odd. But uh, yeah, basically everything that's not shipment, I feel like a higher player count would help so much. You know, you would get into engagements constantly. You know, the whole point of the playlist is that there's tons of people, so you want to go get kills. So maybe that would also encourage people to run around constantly and not be so apprehensive with moving around the map and whatnot. I don't know. It sucks that basically we have to wait until the game is no longer the main game for like all the playlists and stuff to be added to the game because like I would at least like to see them try and put that playlist in the game just to see like what happens and God, I would love to play things that aren't shipment honestly it's kind of getting like grating on my eyes running around in the dark like that because I played the uh not in my last video but the other one before that I was playing on the new maps and like those maps are cool and whatnot but uh yeah even though those are also small maps they're still it's 6v6 so sometimes you're running around sometimes you're running around for you know 30 seconds to a minute at a time without seeing anybody and then you turn a corner and then there's a guy behind you hiding in a bush with a thermal sight and it's just like bro what are you doing this is the game that you want to play this is the game that you boot up or is like yeah i'm gonna hide in bushes and attack people when they can't see me and then the game ends and you look at the name and they have like 10 kills and it's like you woke up today and this is what you decided you wanted to do all right, all right I, I see how it is but you know, maybe they could just have like maybe instead of it being 12 and 12 they could have a playlist and the player count for each map would like scale depending on the map 
So maybe like shipment could stay 6v6 or if they want to make it chaotic, they could do 8v8 or 12v12. That'd be kind of funny. But uh, yeah, on the other smaller, on basically every other map, I would like to see 12v12 just because I want to see more or less. I What I actually want is I just want to feel some sort of vindication for this thought that I keep having in my head about this game and the player count. So if they ever do it and on the small maps, if 12v12 is like a shit show and it's too much and people are spawning inside of each other, one, I would honestly kind of prefer that even then over like like the dead air that i often experience on some of these maps because it's 6v6 but i don't know but yeah, I'm, I'm done ranting about the player count again but uh yeah i still have to go edit this and uh get ready for work so uh just as a reminder if you did enjoy this video and you want to help support the channel uh liking it and subscribing to the channel would be very much appreciated i'm trying to reach 500 subs and you know eventually go beyond that so any help that you show would be very much appreciated but yeah this shotgun is actually super fun to use i was not expecting it i have no attachments on it either so i think i did way better in that match than i thought it would so uh no that's surprising but uh, yeah i'm gonna go now so i uh, hope you all have a lovely day and uh yeah later